We're here at the IDX 2019 with George Bai, the founder of Bai Aerospace. George, you're doing some really, really neat things with electric airplanes. Why don't you give us a quick overview of what you're introducing, and we'll have a conversation about it. You bet. So we're starting with the eFlyer 2. It's a two-seat trainer. So all of the economics and benefits of electric aviation, very, very low operating cost, no noise, no CO2, focused on the training industry and the requirement for pilots. Very, very great and urgent pilot training requirement upcoming in the very near future. Legacy fleet is really getting old, 46.2 years old on average, about 10,566 single engine trainers, almost 50 years old. So our aim is to replace them with uh, high efficiency, high technology, and low cost E-Flyer 2. And then the four-seater is kind of expanding that market into that Cessna 172, 182, Piper Cherokee, where there's more capacity and more opportunity for more payload. This opens up a whole new world of for rural communities in terms of getting there without having the windshield time that you would have in a car, right? That's right. So as we reach out to the lower density population areas, more uh, going from urban to the countryside, the, the ability to expand with electric is, is much easier than it is with a traditional or legacy kind of, a, of an airplane. So we see electric as a community builder. It brings people together from, from the outlying communities to suburbia to urban, brings us all together with much lower infrastructure cost. Well, and then the operating cost is much lower, right? Right, so if you look at energy alone, it's about $4 of energy electric energy and electric aircraft, as opposed to about $50 of aviation gasoline per flight hour, per flight hour. If you count maintenance and, and support for the airplane, you scale up a little bit, it's $23 as opposed to $110 per flight hour for a legacy aircraft. So the cost is about one-fifth for an electric airplane as compared to the conventional aircraft. You also have a lot of safety features and of course modern avionics on this that you wouldn't have in an old 50-year-old uh, airplane, right? That's right, so it's high tech through and through. The opportunity for safety is perhaps the best it's ever been. Um, down to the cell level and the batteries, the single moving part in the electric motor, the high tech, of course, avionics, modern um, airfoils and aerodynamics, very efficient. And then, of course, the full airplane parachute as well. And this is going to be certified in the next year or so, is that right? A uh, year and a half. A okay. year and a half under the new Amendment 64 under FAR Part 23. It allows for electric aviation. We're the world's first to make that application with the FAA for a type certificate back in April of last year. We should be wrapping that up mid-year 2021. And you pointed out some subtle things there. There's no fuel tanks in the wings, right? Yeah, no fuel, no avgas, no leaded high-octane fuel. That's all out of the equation. It's all electric. Well, and this raises an interesting point. For urban airports or airports surrounded by residences, these are going to be a lot safer, a lot quieter, right? Much, much safer, much quieter, almost indetectable at about 500 feet as compared to a Cessna 172. So about 30 decibels quieter, a thousand-fold quieter, basically background noise, if you will. Amazing. That, that is remarkable. And George, it's so nice to catch up with you, and congratulations. Thank and you great so much. Great work. Thanks. Thanks.